Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Tekken 10 with Sin. Um, and today I'm going over the BIOS of the Z97 uh, Super Micro Board. It's, I think the name is C7 Z97 OCE. Um, and this is the home page that you go into when you hit the BIOS. First you have the system information tab uh, about memory, CPU, uh, PCH. Go back to home, uh, processor information. There's a scroll bar right here that you can go down with. You can also use the keyboard and mouse, but these are no settings you can actually change. Performance right here, this is not where you do the overclocking, but you control things like hyper-threading, the number of cores, uh, overclocking locks, so you can lock overclocking, um, everything else is right here. And if you want expert mode, you hit this or you hit it again. And uh, going back to non-expert mode, it makes the scroll bar bigger or smaller. Power management is also there, so turbo mode settings here. And you have all the settings here. They're a lot of these CPU power limits, there's even DRAM power limits, stuff like that in case you want to set a power limit. Setting zero is the default value, or the yeah default value from the factory, I think the max out value, something like that, I just set zero on them. Uh, there are also profiles um, and the overclocking thing I'll show you soon. So there's overclocking here, we'll cover that in a second. You also have chipset, so system agent. Um, there's a system agent tab, so you can control things like the audio device, above 4 gigabyte MMIO BIOS, DMI link, uh, here's the integrated graphics controls, PCH IO controls like Wake on LAN and the Zillow chip uh, codec, onboard chips, uh, right here we only have the AS Media SATA controller, um, pretty cool graphics actually. So we go back home, and these are the memory settings. Uh, it's just like memory information and then memory configuration, so ECC support, max toll load, Enhanced interleave support, rank interleave, and MRC fastboot, which is probably the only one here that would help with overclocking in case you want to retrain the uh, thing. So, actually, let's go back home again. Here's IO, uh, SATA mode selection, SATA controller, speed, stuff like that. So, you can change it to Gen 1 or Gen 2, Gen 3. Hot plug, external SATA, SATA device type, and the list goes on and on and on for each port. Then we have PCIe setup, so Northbridge PCIe settings. Uh, so everything you can think about the slots, um, the PCI slots also. So it's pretty cool, and you can change the option ROM for the LAN right here. USB settings, all the USB only XHCI mode. So it's on Smart Auto by default. If you disable this, you get USB 2.0 on your USB 3.0 ports. Uh, PCH firmware right here. This is all about the Mi firmware. And uh, when you're flashing the BIOS, if you want to flash the Mi over again you have to uh, change this to enabled or change a jumper on the motherboard. I This one, when I enabled it, I was able to correctly flash the Mi. Uh, and then there's also Super I.O. configuration and uh, this current IRQ and uh, IRQ settings and you can enable serial port 1 or disable it. I don't know why this is a check mark while the others aren't. And we can go home again. That was our... and then there's, here's a hardware monitor and we have temperature, CPU, system, peripheral, PCH, fan speed, fan speed 1, 2, 3, 4, and spin fee control mode, standard or full speed. This is the only fan speed control this board has and features through Supermicro software or BIOS. It's kind of, it's really the only, uh, it's very simple to use, very simple to set up, but also it could be better and give the user more control. Here's voltage monitoring. Now, vCore is not measured here. So we have vCPU, which is the input voltage, 12 volt, vDIN, the DRAM voltage, 5 volt, vCC, PCH, 1.05 volt, AVCC, um, I think this is just a 3.3 volt, or the voltage going in 3.3 volt, vUSB, vBAT. Um, so yeah, that's monitoring. Then we have booting options right here. So boot order 1, 2, it, all, it goes all the way down, and we can scroll down and check out some more of that so UEFI boot options stuff like that power settings here right quiet boot fast boot all that cool stuff so retry boot watchdog function stuff like that security settings administrator password users password secure boot menu stuff like that and management management is just this ACPI sleep safe so we go home and then people are probably wondering about overclocking so first one is CPU overclocking and we have Intel Advanced Enhanced Speed Step, Enhanced Intel Speed Step technology. Uh, so if you disable this, turbo mode stuff goes away. You have turbo mode stuff like that. Um, they do have profiles, I believe. 
Oh, they did have profiles in the last BIOS version. Um, but anyways, it's pretty easy to set. You basically set the four core limits to whatever you want. Uh, let's say you want 45x, then you set them all to 45. You leave the turbo settings normal, um, and it'll go there. Base clock frequency, the way you put in the settings is you got to delete what's in there. So that CPU cache ratio, let's say I want 35, like default. And then I go down, base clock. So this is default 102 megahertz base clock. But if I want 100, you just type 1000. Zero, zero, zero. You have to backspace after it's selected. Base clock ratio, uh, they have even 2.5, but of course that, that won't work. Um, quit without saving. No. No. Okay, so, yeah. I thought I wanted to quit without saving, so I'm just going to restart. But yeah, um, so there's another screen that comes on if you want to quit without saving. And you just press delete to get in the BIOS, pretty simple. The booting is actually very fast on this motherboard. Anyways, let's go to more overclocking settings. So we also have uh, all those power duration limits, and you see they're maxed out. So long duration power limit watts 672, short duration power limit watt 840. So they've maxed these out for overclocking. You can change CPU voltage mode and the voltage settings. Zero by is default, um, and then you have PCH voltage modes, SVIC control, FRV faults enabled. You want to disable these, um, and then you have memory overclocking here. Memory overclocking profiles manual or XMP profile one and uh, it works, XMP works, and then you have the timings and it's impressive to also see the sub timings and RTLs and IOLs uh, so they did a good job in including the timings there could be some more timings they could include um, other than the sub timings but I think they've got almost everything to be honest so I don't think there's much more they could do and then overclocking buttons, you can actually set what uh, one of the OC buttons does so if you just engage that button it could be like a profile, save a profile because um, there is no profiles uh, saving option right now in the UEFI. I think this is Super Micro's first UEFI. Anyways, so I think that covers everything about their BIOS uh, to go over my review. And then if you want to exit, you just press escape. Um, well, actually, you're supposed to hit save and load, and that'll help me do that. So I'll just say exit without that because I hit escape. Uh, and then I'll show you the exit menu. So if I hit save and load, uh, load optimized defaults, save all settings only, save settings to OC3, the button, exit without save, save and reset, uh, exit setup. I just want to change the base clock back to default. So base clock frequency, zero, zero, one, two, three. So the base clock frequency is 1000. So if I did 10200, zero, 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 that would do 102.00 zero, zero megahertz. So this is just 100 megahertz, even though it says 10,000. So then I hit save and load, and then save and reset, and then I hit OK. And it'll reset with that base clock. Alright, thanks for watching.